says, stop. Trust yourself. If you trust yourself, you can do it. Be you. Don't try to persuade people. Come on, let's do it today. Change everything. Today I'm going to show you how to move hands for flamenco. Yeah, when you dance. The most effective way. And you can do it at home every day so you can improve. No time, no place to practice. No excuses, remember? 10 minutes, only 10 minutes. You don't have to find one hour. Let's do it. Okay, so this exercise is going to be 10 minutes. So get yourself into a flamenco posture. Yeah, you have um, big arms and you have, um, it's like a space for like, a, you're holding a um, balance ball, like a big, big circle in front of you. Wherever you go up and down and arms go down, so you have to keep the posture, keep the space, keep the shapes of it, okay? We're gonna start with out moving fingers. Let's try to get a really good foundation because it's really important. When we start moving fingers, if you have good foundations and good like postures, so your body remember, then when we move the fingers, it will look really nice. Slowly and feel it and body to remember. The posture, where the hand goes, Always try to draw a really nice line, circle. The hands and finger will go uh, further and further from your body. Flamenco hands movements and their uh, arms movement. There, it, it, it's really they are really um, smooth. So imagine that you are in the water or something like that, and to go really soft and nice and graceful. Okay, now we're gonna change the arm. We're gonna go from inside and the arms goes out and inside and arms goes out, okay? So remember, when we are doing um, flamenco hands movement, arm, move, move, arm movements, the elbows are looking at the wall, okay? Smooth, going further and further. Fingers, natural and soft. Okay, nearly end the end of the um, basic movement. We're gonna start hands movement, okay? Try to move your fingers, each finger separately. Really, really smooth and soft. Move each fingers. Each fingers, practice it really slow. Don't lash each fingers. And it's also important to move your wrist. Try to move it for 360 
degrees so that you can express more feelings with your hands. Little by little, each fingers, each fingers. Smooth and nice. And now you're gonna do the fingers from outside. We were doing inside before, so we're gonna do outside as well. Outside, take everything, take everything, take everything. Inside, now we're gonna do inside and outside circle. From inside, now we're gonna move um, arms, the arms up. It's like you're drawing a circle there. Shoulders down, move only wrists and fingers. The other parts are stiff, solid. Do you remember the basic posture? That won't change. Only the wrists and fingers are moving softly and nicely. And softly and nicely. Do not go really, really fast. And do not do a lot of, lot of um, hands movement yet. If you can do it really nice, it's gonna be really, really good. But I think it's always nice to start from little by little, slowly, and get the 100% of feeling of it. If not, then you just do a lot of things and, you know, it's kind of like different. Now we're gonna do a little bit movement. Marcaje a little bit as well. Move your feet. Or if you don't want to, whatever, it's whatever, it's up to you. But feel it. And exercise. Practice what you can do when you perform when you dance, find your color. It's sometimes nice to um, look at mirror and it's sometimes nice not to look at mirror. It's because you can find your color in the mirror, but if you just always looking at it, then you will rely on the mirror. So it's good to have like having mirror and not having a mirror to remember the posture and the feeling of it. When you perform, you won't have a mirror, you know. <laughs> and so what you do, you can put your finger on the top. A bit different posture as well. Okay, hands going down, arms going down. Asa, asa. <laughs> and it's nice to um, halear, haleo, saying like ole, ole, that kind of things, or que toma, que toma, que toma, you know, to cheer you up as well. Asa, 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 ole. Okay, so it's almost the end. Keep up a little bit more. Now you can do marcaje and up and down. Marcaje. Find yourself. Find your color. Marcaje is like a signature. It's you. It's yours. It has to be yours. If not, then it's like. 
something that you know that anyone can do so it looks normal and when you when it has your color it looks amazing So now we are going down and slowly going to finish. Don't just cut it, just finish little by little with the music and the feeling. Well done! Hey, I just realized I changed my clothes and everything and I forgot to say please subscribe my channel and like and share if you like the videos I gonna upload videos regularly I'm so sorry last year I couldn't do anything because I've been recovering after giving birth and busy with a baby and we change our local 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 in Espanol uh, in English is a venue studio we change and we change we move out our, from um, our old apartment so we have been really really busy now we are settled I'm gonna upload more videos regularly like before okay so thank you for watching and see you next time